All right, hey Aquarius, so you guys, I'm doing a new read for you. It's a month ahead, so we're going to look at October. You can't say I've actually done monthly reads for you guys, but if I get enough response on them, I will continue to do them. Um, hopefully I can incorporate this every month because these have all turned out so positive and it's all just in dealing with yourself. All right, so you're going to know this is your read by where the energy is currently being pulled. So you'll know that this is yours pretty much throughout the whole thing. And if that doesn't uh, resonate, please check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you guys are new, welcome. Um, I'm doing the spread a little bit differently this time. Um, just because that's how I was kind of called to do this. So I'm just going to mix the cards up and we'll see where your energy sits. Okay. Um, if the video resonates, you guys, please interact with it some way, somehow. All right, so your current self, this is where you guys are sitting. We have the page of Raphael. Um, gentle, loving, dreaming, dreamy, open-hearted, a new emotional situation coming through. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. All right, and with this page of um, cuffs coming through, this is all about your creative your creative side, um, your, your inner child, um, your intuition. This is, um, your curiosity kind of peaking right now, getting new ideas, having, um, forward thinking, um, abilities, not being stuck in the past, removing any people that are, are kind of irrelevant when it comes to having emotional, um, Im immaturity. This is also new beginnings, you guys, um, in love, all right, so you guys could have recently met somebody and you're just in this kind of nostalgic type of energy right here. Um, this is very, very loving and warm energy to be in, you guys. Um, I really, my heart space just feels really full and open for you because whoever I'm talking to, you guys feel really good and confident right now in life and everything is just going good and everything is just like you're walking um, throughout the day smiling, you're going to work smiling, you're um, interacting with people and giving the warm smiles out, giving love to people too, right? And I feel like overall, um, you just got, you know, when our emotional body is open and we start receiving, um, even if you don't have anybody right now, I feel like it's just being receptive to the energies around you. Um, and it could be too, I'm looking at this green energy and it could just be too that you're learning how to give that love back by setting positive intentions for people. All right. And I don't know where you're sitting at or what scale you're on, but this is very, very positive, um, energy, whether it's, um, a new situation, um, you know, new, you know, children coming through. I just feel like this is kind of, um, it can be on any scale it, when it comes to new beginnings. It doesn't have to be just in romantic love. It could be children. It could be, um, you know, in pursuit of a passion. It could be the spiritual aspects. It could just be anything that just is kind of totally just bursting open your heart space. So um, your overall theme for October, we have the five of Gabriel coming through. Um, so the overall theme this is going to be about challenges and resolving challenges. Withdraw from the withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So the overall theme is telling you to uh, pretty much avoid negative energies. So if there's somebody that kind of strikes you out of this energy that you're sitting in right now, it's best to avoid that. You know what I mean? Send them love. Send them healing energy. But don't don't uh, don't um, don't put yourself out when it when it comes to trying to help people that don't want to be helped. Um, you know, like we can't save the world. I feel like you could be faced with challenges throughout the month, but I feel like they're going to be simplified in such a way that with good positive energy, you're able to come over, you're able to overcome them quickly. And I feel like this is going to be more about your, your social, um, your social interactions with others. Uh, it could be too that you guys are kind of on this new spiritual kind of dynamic and people don't agree with you. Um, sometimes people who are not on a spiritual journey like to challenge us and poke us and prod us, um, diminishing our beliefs. And I just feel like this is being true to yourself. So sticking up for yourself seems to be the overall theme for you guys, defending yourself, um, keeping yourself in an honorable position and not, not, to, not, um, not stepping down to anybody else's level, you know, um, especially, and just because you guys are, uh, I feel like in this happy tone, it doesn't mean that people won't try to snap you out of it because it's easy for people who are not happy to kind of drag us down. Okay. So I feel like the overall theme is just to avoid people that, you know, um, poke and prod at you on purpose. 
um, a key goal to pursue. Look at that. You got walking away from situations, people, and energies that don't serve you anymore. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. All right. So a key goal to pursue if you guys um, are kind of being activated towards the spiritual journey, it, it's time to take pursuit of that. It's time to take, take a deep dive, learning your soul name, learning your soul tribe, um, learning how to do breath work, learning how to meditate even. Um, you know, I just feel like this could be so many different um, levels. It could just be too that you need to walk away from these situations. Um, this is all, this is like, I almost feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're really pulled between people who are 3D, who are not embodying um, a spiritual journey, who, who are on that quest. Um, I just, I really feel like you're being pulled in between situations when it comes to people. And it's like, you're very kind hearted. You're full of love. Um, but these people, I feel like some of you guys know that you have to walk away from certain people. And I just, I see this and it's like, you already have that kind of enlightenment going on, but I feel like you could be pulled back into, um, the drama in such a way that, you know, okay, for me to be my best version of myself is to not, not let these people interfere with what I'm doing. Ultimately you're living your life for yourself. You can't make anybody happy. Um, and you know what, it's on them to make themselves happy. And I just feel like this is really telling you, um, it, it's time to take care of you. It's time to make you happy. You can't solve the world's problems and you can't solve your friend's problems. All right. So, um, um, an obstacle to overcome. You got so many emotional cards coming through the seven of Raphael. So an obstacle to overcome time to make a decision. Be clear about what you want and take action. A need for detoxification obstacles. So detox, this could be in many areas. It could be mentally, it could be emotionally, it could be physically. Um, it could be that some of you guys have actually literally started thinking about some sort of cleanse or some sort of diet or some sort of, uh, um, something new that you want to incorporate into what you what you've been eating, um, you know what you've been drinking. Um, these are all obstacles. There's a lot of them here. This is the Seven of Cups right here. So a lot of things going on. Um, obstacles could be with work. You guys, everybody's going to have difference. Okay. I mean, it could be work related. It could be diet. It could be people that you're hanging out with. It could be um, it's just something that you know is really really holding you back. Um, the thing is, is your, your intuition and your gut is what's telling you to change it. Nobody else. I can't tell you what you need to change because we have free will, but I feel like it's what this card is saying is it's time to start working on something that, you know, in your heart space, it's time to release. Um, for example, and I don't have Aquarian placements, but I vape and I, I, I know I, I want to quit. All right. I know I want to quit, but I don't beat myself up over it because the more you want to quit doing something and it's kind of forced behavior, um, when it comes to who are, who we are or who I am, at least, um, the more I want to do it. I read this thing the other day. Um, this lady was saying, um, when it comes to diet, she's like, I never tell myself no. I never say no, because the more you tell yourself no, when it comes to kind of changing your daily routine and your habits, the more you, you, the more you're naturally going to react in the way that you, you want it. Um, so like if you, if you see some Doritos, um, take a couple, take two, take three, um, and then put them away, put the bag away. Just don't tell yourself no, and don't try to kill yourself doing it. I feel like, um, obstacles in many different you guys are going to know what's kind of keeping you back what's holding you back where you know that you'll feel better once it's released so it's time to start i feel like putting in motion all right towards this obstacle that's kind of keeping you from being who you are um you know we, we're dipping into the spiritual aspects and we're coming into our true authentic self right um a major accomplishment coming wow you guys <laughs> more emotion energy um, so a major accomplishment coming, this is psychic powers. This is intuition. This is a spiritual journey. So you guys are going to be develop. You're going to be developing strength and, um, your, your spiritual gifts. And one, one way, if I could help you guys do that, if you sit in meditation, listen to 963 Hertz music, place your hands, palms up on your knees and set the intention to the universe. Ask your spirit guides, ask God, ask your angels to fill your hands up with, um, um, your special gifts. Okay. And this is where we start coming into a psychic, clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, claircognizant, um, channeling mediumship, um, you know, reading cards, um, Reiki healing, 
hold your hands palm up on your legs and then do that and then ask for your spiritual gifts and kind of envision the energy um, flowing right into your hands. And when you guys are ready, you're going to rub your hands together and then you're going to put your palms over your eyes and you're going to open your eyes and seal in the energy. And then you're going to thank your spirit guides. You're going to thank um, God. You're going to thank you. You want to thank them for being blessed with this beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of you that um, haven't even begun to to tap into that. And um, I feel like we're, we're, we're truly blessed, all of us, every single one of us. Um, so a major accomplishment coming through, you got kindness, understanding, patience, this giving energy, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information coming through. And the queen of cups is all about embodying compassion. This is caring. It's being emotionally stable. This is also, um, self care, embodying yourself with self love and being, and, and, and just coming into your own independence. All right. This is such a favorable card. I'm just, I can't get over it. You guys, I really can't get over it. So, um, what you're going to want to avoid I cannot believe how much water energy is coming through here, you guys. Um, you guys must have a water placement. Um, this is, um, shoot, man, it's Cancer. It's Gemini energy. We got um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the um, Cups energy, we have Pisces. Uh, we have um, Pisces, a lot of Pisces, a lot of water energy. All right, so what to avoid? We got the Three of Ariel. So this is... Um, it says, do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or, or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. All right. So this is just avoiding, you know, coming back to this five of Gabriel, if you have any, per, any people in your circle or in your forced circle, like when it comes to work, um, and you know that they bring drama and they bring gossip. Uh, it's time to avoid that, okay? Um, just kind of submerging yourself into what you love and avoiding. Um, because this card I do associate with uh, partnerships and um, people, outsider influences, outsider energies. Um, this is also supposed to be a very successful card. So I feel like it's it's removing anybody just in the month of October that you know is, is a disservice to you. Um, those people that do not help you um, gain make gains. Those people who kind of lower your vibration vibration. All right. I just feel like it's, it's what, when, the, when this is coming through in the avoidance sector, this is just saying to avoid people who don't uplift you and who do not want to see you succeed. And you know who those people are that don't clap for you. You guys do. Okay. Um, I, you know, I, I just, uh, recently on my, my Facebook, when I started it, it was only to get um, help on my YouTube. So I didn't add anybody that I knew. And then these people from my past started adding me and I just did a clearing of those energies, those people, because it's like, they don't, they don't clap for me. And, um, you know, we haven't hung out in years and, you know, um, and it's not, I'm not, and it's not like, oh, I'm taking you off because you don't clap for me and you don't, you know, it's not even that it's more about having those energies. Like, cause you, you we soak up people's energy, you know, and, and I know I soak up a lot of energy just because of what I do with tarot and I connect with energy. Um, so that's why I, I kind of did that purging. So just kind of do that inventory. Okay. What to embrace. You got the Ace of Michael coming through. So um, this coming through is a, a new ideas. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication and problems with others. So anybody that you do um, hold near and dear to your heart space when it comes to needing to clear the air, now is a powerful time to do that. And it's time to embrace that action. So when we go on, when we move into our spiritual aspects, it's learning to um, heal forgive so that we can release and purge and we're making way for new beginnings for new ideas for new love for new emotions um you know and gaining that higher sense of self all right this is like the ace of swords so what to embrace this is saying new beginnings are coming through and they're going to come through very very strong and in that mindset of winning you're going to be winning all throughout this month all right so anything that comes through as something new to you it's embracing that no matter what scale it could be work it could be um a, a side job it could be um a love interest it could be any aspect anything new that comes to you when it comes to october you got to embrace that so that you can see the rewards and benefits from that um where to find support 
you got the page of Michael coming through. Um, so obviously reaching out to that Archangel Michael. Um, but this is... Um, um, your support network are going to be people that you know are truthful, that have perceptive, analytical, people that can be blunt, okay? And the reason why is because you want these people to be as honest as you can, especially when it comes to that five of Gabriel. I just keep seeing that orange card pop out. Um, and that's the five of wands. That's conflict, war, drama, battle. Um, so you might even need to reach out to people who have, like, they can be diplomatic, um, not one-sided and kind of look at things from an objective uh, view. Um, this is also saying an exciting new challenge is coming through for October. You have what it takes to succeed, review contracts or documents very, very um, thoroughly. All right. Um, but I feel like this is coming through too, because don't think that just because this um, person may be younger than you, that they don't have um, really good insight. All right. Um, and that's, um, you know, your fellow air signs. It could be an earth sign just as well. Okay, so find support through people that you know have, have been and will always um, hold that truth. Um, the overall the overall advice for the month, you got the seven of Ariel. So a lot of healing energy coming through. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for the next endeavor. All right. I feel like you got so much relationship and emotional things coming through here. This is all healing energy too. And healing yourself. All right. And in, in such a big way, I feel like this is a saying you're going to be healing yourself in such beautiful ways. People are naturally going to you're going to want to you're going to you're they're going to fall away. You're not even going to have to do anything. I feel like this this whole month is going to prepare you to, to even a bigger shift. And you got that queen of Raphael coming through. So your spirituality, your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts are going to come through very strong and you're going to intuitively know. All right. Who needs to fall away so that you can. Um, further progressed, heal and move forward so that you can start helping others. All right. So um, beautiful, you guys, beautiful energy. Um, overall, just relationships being healed, walking away from shit that does not serve us. Um, this is such cool energy that I see for you guys. And I, I just really hope that this resonates with you guys. And um, if so, please comment and let me know. You guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care.